While the Donbass front lines are inflamed by positional battles and both sides are claiming some tactical successes, the international diplomatic battle continues. Kiev and Moscow seem to adhere to different plans on how to export millions of tons of Ukrainian grain from the blockaded ports and save the world from a food crisis. Most recently, the main developments on the battlefields in Ukraine took place in the Slatohorsk area. On June 6th, Russian-led forces claimed control over the last Ukrainian stronghold in the city. The mop-up operations continue in the areas nearby. Russian-led forces are also expanding their zone of control in the area of Krasny Liman. The village of Ili Tivka, located to the south of the town, came under DPR control. Some advances of the DPR's People's Militia were confirmed near Avdivka. The AFU were repelled from some of their positions north of the town. The southern Ukrainian front lines in the Kherson and Nikolaev regions were also marked by some tactical successes by the Russian army. After the AFU launched a counteroffensive and managed to take control of the town of Davidov Broad, they failed to develop any further advance. As a result, Ukrainian units were repelled from their positions and the town came back under Russian control. The beginning of June was marked by some progress in the diplomatic processes between the two countries, which has been stuck for months. On June 7th, the Russian delegation went to Turkey to hold negotiations on the subject of grain exports from the ports of Ukraine. Moscow and Ankara expect to determine a safe mechanism for the export during the meeting of the Russian and Turkish foreign ministers on June 8th. Earlier, the Turkish state agency Anadolu reported that Russia, Ukraine, and Turkey, with the assistance of the United Nations, have developed a roadmap that will allow about 20 million tons of grain and sunflower seeds to be exported and delivered to the international market. The side should discuss the details at the meetings in Ankara. According to Bloomberg, some preliminary agreements imply the participation of the Turkish Navy in the demining operation in the Black Sea. However, Kiev is reportedly not yet agreed. The warrant rhetoric of Kiev poses doubts on the implementation of the Turkish plan. Vladimir Zelensky called the deployment of anti-ship systems in Ukraine the best guarantee of grain export. The British Prime Minister has previously claimed readiness to send Harpoon anti-ship missiles to Ukraine. Denmark should also supply Ukraine with these missiles and launchers for them. Thus, the real intentions of Kiev's policies carried out in accordance with U.S. and British interests are confirmed by Zelensky's efforts to prolong and intensify hostilities in Ukraine.